Hi, my name is Kimin. I'm an avid tutor at Bryant Middle School and I identify as Punjabi Sikh American. Hi, I'm Saeed and I tutor at Jackson and I identify as African American. The critical service learning paradigm gave Saeed and I the opportunity to look at ways our identities intersect with the way we experience whiteness in predominantly white spaces. Jackson is one of the most diverse schools in Utah. Over 75% of the population is minority. Bryant is a relatively diverse middle school with a large population of Latino students. It's important to understand the demographics of both schools in order to kind of get an idea of how these students' identities influence their experiences in white educational systems. Doing my service learning at Jackson Elementary has really allowed me to be more open about myself and has been having me question my experience as a student there. When I went to Jackson, I do not remember there being an opportunity to learn both Spanish and English in the dual immersion program that they now offer. I think it's a great program and that it is going to help students discover their identity. started to realize how similar my experiences are to these students at Bryant because all of us are trying to navigate these white systems in order to succeed and move up like a social ladder so um, it's definitely something that I wouldn't have been able to experience in a traditional service learning environment. I was reading one of the pages on the walls one of the days while I was at Jackson and looking for it online, I seen it again on the Salt Lake City School District page when it came on for Jackson. And under the bullet points for fun facts of Jackson, I seen a sentence that said, we encourage our students and families to retain and respect their native language and personal cultural heritage. That really made me connect it to identity framework on the Anderson piece of knowledge construction where Anderson put in and said, identity dictates how individuals view themselves both as a person and in relation to ideas. I relate a lot of navigating through predominantly white societies with um, Lim, Lim Hing's piece on reflections on race and sexuality because it really embraces the idea of intersectionality and how, you know, we there isn't just one part of our identity that's oppressed or that's the oppressor, but there's both sides to it. And I think that's important to take into account in terms of um, developing an identity and self-awareness about these issues. Fall is here, hear the yell, back to school, ring the bell, brand new shoes, walk in blues, climb the fence, Books and pens, I can tell that we are gonna be friends.